It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Brian Hoyer. Hi, and welcome to the Dice Tower's second ever iOS game review. I'm Brian Hoyer, and this week we're going to look at a game called Quarrel. Actually, it's Quarrel Deluxe, because I believe there is a free Quarrel Lite version. We're going to talk about the, the paid version that gives you all of the options. Now, the thing about Quarrel is it's kind of the board game that never was, meaning that it doesn't actually have a physical copy you can go out and buy in stores. It's an all-new original idea made for the iPad. The other really cool thing about it is it mixes two genres that you think wouldn't work out so well, but it turns into a pretty interesting game, and that is a word game, which there are a ton of on iOS devices, mixed kind of with a war strategy game. And then they give it a nice unique spin with the cartoony graphics. Uh, I'll tell more about it after we look at it, so let's go to the iPad. Here's the home screen for Quarrel Deluxe, and as you'll see, there are several options. You've got the option to jump into a game and play. There's a tutorial, which is always a nice touch. You, which would get you into your player profile, and you can see up here that I've already chosen to be a male character, and down here you'll see the tribe I've chosen. Now, there are other options. I chose to play as the caveman, but you do have some variety, and you can choose who you play as. And then you'll see the little caveman dancing down here, and it says if you tap him, there's a daily challenge, so you always, every day, can go in and do different games by tapping on him. And being as a, it is a word game and that's not for everyone, it does give you a word of the day, which in this case is res, R-E-Z, tells you how many points that would be worth if you played it, 15, and it even scrolls the definition down there. So if word games aren't your thing, you actually will learn something and build your vocabulary and it can actually make you a better player. Now I'm going to tap play and we'll go to the next screen. On this next screen, there's several play options. Quick match to jump right into a game. Make a match. There's a domination mode, but we're just going to do the quick match today to get right into a game. Now, I've already played, so this is actually the second level that I will do. It shows the map. It randomly chooses the order of play. I'll go first. And here's what the level looks like. You can tell that the ring around my character is red, so I will be the red squares, and my caveman will be on there, and I'm playing against her ninjas. I can choose any army I want, and the four shows I have four cavemen there, five for five cavemen, and what I can do is I can click on them and attack any neighboring square to try to take it over. If I have more than her, I have a better chance of winning, because the way this word game works is you get the number of letters equal to the number of men you have. If I were to attack her, I have five cavemen, so I can make a word that is up to five letters long. She has five ninjas, so she can also make a five-letter word. If you attack a smaller army, you can make a bigger word because you have more fighters, and being like Scrabble, you can get more points for each letter you can play. Let me show how this works. Here I'm attacking her. The best word wins. My letters are down here, and speed does come into play here. Her characters are holding a card, which means she's played a word. Now, she beat me, and time does come into play here. If she were to tie me for points, she would win because she was faster. Now I'm going to play a word, A-M-A-Z-E. You want to play as many points as you can, just like any other word game. Click OK, and now it'll show who wins. 19 points for my word, 19 points for her word. I'm going to lose because I was slower. She's the victor, and then I get pelted with letters. and they go back and my man stays up here on his square because he lost. Now my turn isn't over yet because I have other armies I have yet to activate. Let's see here. I'm going to take this army and I'm actually going to put some of them over on this square to add reinforcements. The number is going down here but I'm having more characters in this square so when I do finally go to attack with them I'll stand a much better chance with eight people against five. When I'm done, I hit the X here. Or no, I'm sorry, the check mark here, because it's okay. I want to complete that move. But they are used up. I cannot attack with either one of them now, because they use their turn, reinforcing troops and moving them around. However, I do have five men here that can attack the four. And I stand a better chance at winning here, because I have more men and more letters. Gives me my options of letters down here. We'll do something real quick. Click OK. I did From for 12 points. He also played From for 12 points. 
but luckily I beat them to it. Now, I would attack them, I beat them, I take over that land, and I get a treasure and coins. Now, whereas we only played from, a pretty small, simple word last time, it does, at the end of that match, tell me the anagram, if I were to use all of those letters, the biggest word I could make was formicas. And then he says that that's laminated plastic sheets containing blah, blah, blah. It gives the definition for that word. And you can, again, build up your vocabulary and see, oh, that's the word I was shooting for. That's the biggest word I could make if I had enough characters. The game continues on as each person takes turns going back and forth trying to take over land and conquering a map. This is a small one with two players, but the first one I played, it actually set me up in a four-player map right off the bat. So there were four armies competing, and they're a different shape, different layout each time, and it kind of actually uh, it changes. It's a unique game every time, and it's pretty fun. Okay, now we're going to do one more round with the sound on, because it's such an important part of the game. It really kind of livens it up and adds a lot. So I'll attack one more time. Choose a word. Get that Z in there for 12 points. They have more characters. We'll see if I can beat them or not. Oh, I got beat. And I go back defeated, hanging my head in shame as usual. Okay, final thoughts for the game. Coral Deluxe is a great word game. If you are a wordsmith and you enjoy word games, this is right up your alley. I'll admit, I'm an English teacher, so it's for me. And while there are a ton of word games for iOS devices, it has to compete with all the boggles and scrabbles and the words with friends in this world, it brings something new and unique to the table that I think makes it worth playing. If you're a war game enthusiast, it's pretty light, but there is some strategy. I mean, you do have to reinforce your troops, choose who to attack and when. Um, and so there's a little bit of strategy there. Speed comes into play, so the faster you are, you kind of have that rush race against the clock to make sure you get your word in first. And all those come together to make it a much more interesting and fast-paced game than you'd expect. When I first heard it, that there was a word war game for my brother, I wasn't sure if I'd like it. But let's face it, the graphics and everything bring it all together to make it a complete package. With those cartoony graphics, the great sound, it probably makes it a much, much better game than it has any right to be. And then the last thing I have to mention, it is only single player. There's some rumblings going online saying it might be coming out with a patch to make it multiplayer, but as of right now, it's a solo affair. So if you're a wordsmith and you love word games, it's probably a two thumbs up must buy. For the rest of us, I'd say a solid one thumb. Take that to the holidays, show it to grandma, she can play it, she'll love it. The kids will love it. Get And you can get anybody in on a game with this, they'll enjoy it. And it'll be something to show off your iOS device with great graphics. So, there you have it. Two thumbs up for Word People. Everyone else, it's still a solid buy. Thanks for watching our review today. For more information about board games, as well as the number one board game audio podcast, check out Dicetower.com for reviews, interviews, and more. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.